Once upon a time from a faraway land, becoming a nurse was not really my personal choice, which most nurses can relate to. At that time, I just told my mama that any course would do as long as there was no mathematics and calculations because in reality, mahina talaga ako sa math. Alam ko lang multiplication, addition, division, subtraction, ganun. So she suggested that I should take nursing because it was in demand abroad at that time. And masunurin tayong anak, so I agreed. After a roller coaster life of being a nurse student, Remembering those sleepover projects that turn into chismisa nights na wala namang nagawang project kung di food lafang lang. Those times that we were busy completing cases that it was difficult to hurdle between study and duty time. But that was fine with me. As long as the doctor was guapo, wala ang pagod mo mga day. Luckily, I graduated and instantly got my first job as a barista while preparing for my board exam. But sadly, I failed the first time, but it did not stop me. Then I passed my board exam the second time around. After I got my license, I did not work in the hospital yet. Because before, uso yung volunteer nurse and I could not afford not to have a salary kasi may pinapaaral akong kapatid. So I got a job in a BPO company and I was grateful for that because it was really a good paying job. Years later, I finally decided to pursue my dreams of being a nurse. I got my first job as a nurse in a private hospital in our province and volunteered for six months before having a salary na hindi ko nalang sasabihin kasi ma-issue pa tayo mga itetch. Alam ng mga ka-nurse yan kung ilan yung salary natin privately, di ba guys? Ganun. Years had gone by and I was given the opportunity to be a nurse in Singapore. I was so excited at that time because I could finally turn my dreams into reality. But I guess opportunity did knock me down because I failed in their board exam. I was so upset but at the same time grateful and happy for my friends who have passed the exam. I just let it be and continued to be a nurse in the Philippines. A week after that my friend told me that my original documents were gone because it was caught in the fire. That was really heartbreaking on my part since on that same week I had a bad breakup. Pasok Moira! I could not imagine it happened all at once. I did question God. Why was this happening to me? Was I not worthy to go abroad? Or were my sacrifices not enough to reach my dreams? It was really heartbreaking on my part, knowing that my dreams were falling apart. But despite the circumstances, I was able to manage and gave myself the slightest hope that someday I could go abroad. Why? Because my passport was with me when that fire incident happened. That was the time that I told myself, I can go abroad in God's perfect time. Not now, but soon. I continued with my life with that hope that someday it would fall into place. Indeed, after five years of waiting, an opportunity came. UK was hiring. At past, I was planning to go either Australia or Canada as a student or migrant. Yet, I did not have the money for it. So, I ended up pursuing UK. And why not? After all, it was a lot better opportunity than the latter. Chusi pa ba ako? Inglaterra na yan mga besh. Pangarap natin makapunta dyan dahil kay Princess Sarah. Aminin. Childhood days. I tell you, the process was not as smooth as I expected. But it turned out as a success for me. Four IELTS and two CBT? Fighting! 
So don't ever lose hope, mga ka-nurse, because only those who persevere triumph. When I had my OSCE, I almost quit because my anxiety was outrageous and I did not bring my medication. But what made me survive was I trusted God more than I trusted myself. For all those exams that I was not successful at first take ever, God surely knows how to give me the best gift I can have. I passed my OSCE once, and viola, I finally turned my dreams into reality. UKRN in God's perfect time. It was indeed a humbling feeling, knowing that six years had passed, but those delays and failures ended perfectly well because God would not give us less than what we deserve but more than what we can ever think of. If you ever feel like quitting or had loose hope, always be reminded that as long as you are alive, God is not done with you. You are not a failure for being knocked down by disappointments in life. You are only a failure if you stay fallen down. So be patient, guys, if you are not yet there. All you have to do is do the things that you can do. And let God do the things that you cannot do. This is Love of your Love reminding you we are Maka proud in our own ways. That is my story, and I hope I inspired you.